So if we react to nothing, give ourselves to nothing, take from nothing, if we're simply quiet in our perception of reality, that's what meditation and prayer are. You can talk to God and God will talk to you 24 hours a day from this moment forward. And the whole point of meditation, of prayer, reflection, contemplation is to not react to anything. It's to let go of all things. And then something holy happens. Pure and true. It will seem so natural that there are not words that a great poet like the Khalil Gibran would have the words for it. I've read it in some of his books uh, over the years. It was one of his love letters I read recently. And uh, I don't read all at birth. I read a few things because I've always been here. And if you, I'll, every time I open up a book or walk by a shelf or anything happens in my life, it, it's that millisecond that'll be the right thing that 10 minutes ago I heard a word or something happened and it will fit. It's, it's so everything that ever happened was meant. God is with you and recognize this. And from this moment on, God will be with you every moment. And you'll become what you are, what you were before you dropped into this holy mission. You volunteered for this. Because I've experienced it infinitely, 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 trillions of times more than it could ever be described, the beauty and purity of God, and I have friends that have had this vision, the beatific vision, it's, there is a God, and this is a infinitesimal. It's like a splinter in eternity. There's no more to it. And we all know this. When we fall in love, we feel it. We hold the child's hand, we know it. And we watch my buddy Gerber train his clients. It's, we know it. There, there's, there's a simplicity in humanness. If you're strong enough and powerful enough and you're driven to do it, uh, like my buddy, it's, you, you'll do the most normal things in the most powerful spiritual way. It's just softer than light when you live that way, when you live for God, for your mom, for your family, you, in the truest sense. And then you realize your mom, your family, your granddad, they're all here. And we all volunteered for this, but we're all set up in different ways. The world is a hell. That's temptation. That's the Garden of Eden. So if we realize that, that there are no physical bodies. And we volunteer to become this, to end it, then everything makes sense. And then your granddad and this and that and different people you love, a lover or this or that, uh, your pets will be there and, it, and will all dissolve into this happiness, this joy. And you'll have a memory from something from a cousin from 20 years ago. And this will happen. You know what I mean? When I sit with clients and my clients, my buddies, my friends, God leads it into my life. I've never hung a shingle. I don't, it's not a work. It's no money. It just happens. I'll have the right person at the right time in my place or on the street or anywhere and the right thing will be done and said to dispense with the illusion that God can you imagine that? that God made a world and we're to, there's no trial and error I know as part of a group one time and they said God's testing you like oy vey how, how cruel of them to tell another human being that God will be with you every moment through this and will fold up the sidewalks, history, time, and eternity. There is a God. And if you don't react to anything and give yourself to anything of this world, God will live through you. It's biblical. It's not to become enlightened. It's The most infinitesimal color, shade of time, perception about anything or history, this God will be with us every moment and we'll realize to let go of it all and we'll see that nothing is solid. You think something solid is more <laughs> powerful than God? Because it's solid, it's endlessly more simple and kind and free than that. Talk to God. God will talk to you.